Now, Chief Meteorologist Brian Davis and your Storm Team 2 forecast. Well, temperatures will cool off this evening. We'll drop down into the upper 20s by 11 o'clock. Partly cloudy skies to mostly cloudy skies going from southwest to northeast. And we'll see a mix of clouds, a little sunshine tomorrow. 25 at 8 o'clock, 33 degrees at noon. And 37 at 5 o'clock. Could see some flurries tonight and into tomorrow, especially early in the day. And right now we are tracking some of those on live Doppler 2 HD, mainly up into Logan, Champaign counties, although it even looks like the northeast corner of Clark County seeing a little bit of snow and extending east and southeastward toward the Columbus area. A chilly Thursday coming up, but then we still have that weekend warming trend. Unseasonably mild conditions right on into President's Day. Here's the upper wind flow, upper level low. Once again, more snow up across Maine. Their third snowstorm in about the past seven days, and that'll be winding down here later tonight into tomorrow after dumping some snow. But we're still in this northwest pattern of flow, which is bringing some of those clouds off of Lake Michigan. But that'll all be changing by the weekend. In. You see the flow relaxes a little bit. A ridge of high pressure aloft builds in, and that means mild air spreading eastward right on into Sunday. So above normal temperatures for the upcoming holiday weekend. But a little taste of winter tonight. We're down into the 20s for the overnight lows. We'll find highs tomorrow. Rebounding into the upper 30s here, but look at the 40s and 50s to our south and west, and that's the mild air headed up our way by the time we get to Friday. Our Bryant Heating and Cooling Systems camera tonight showing actually almost a mostly clear sky. There. Still some scattered clouds floating around the Dayton area at this time. And live Doppler 2 HD, it's dry over Dayton, but as we showed you, some of that snow's been drifting southeastward. And still a little bit more snow as you go up north and west, up toward uh, Auglaise County, with some of that snow right along US 33 and extending southeastward. Also, there's a little bit of snow coming off of Lake Michigan still, and appears a little disturbance on the, uh, well, western end of Lake Superior, swinging down into Wisconsin. So so uh, that could head down our way over the next 12 hours and eventually spread a few more flurries into the area here late night and into tomorrow morning. Currently 34 in Dayton. We have a northwest wind at 20 miles per hour. Feels like 23 out there. Dennis Lostetter, uh, our weather checker over in Jamestown. Yep, there is a uh, crocus up and blooming already. Maybe not so much today, but you're going to see more of that, it looks like, for the weekend with the warm temperatures moving in with those highs in the 60s. Weather checkers right now, though, in the 30s, low. Miller and Greenville, the cold spot at 33. Barbara Richards around 39 in Kettering. So the cold air is in place tonight. That'll continue to swing across the region over the next 24 hours. Still some clouds off the lake. We'll be dealing with that into Thursday, but then things start to change. A little more westerly flow, a warm front moving in. And with that warm front swinging through on Friday, in comes the milder air. We'll start the warm up then into the 50s and then 60s by early next week. Still some scattered clouds tonight. Still some scattered flurries, especially as you go east and northeast, a low of 24. Slight chance of a flurry tomorrow, a mix of clouds, a little sunshine with a high of 38 degrees. 29, 10 o'clock, 33 degrees at noon, upper 30s into the afternoon, and then here comes the warm-up. 53 on Friday, 58 on Saturday. Look at the 60s early next week, 63 on Sunday, 66 on President's Day. It looks pretty much dry for the three-day holiday weekend. Rain chances back around Tuesday. So a little bit of winter weather again tomorrow, but after that, here we go, spring in the air. Okay, Brian, thanks. The Reds could have done spring training right here. Yeah, they didn't need to fly out there.